Okay, we're nearing the end, thank goodness, and we are looking at questions 50 and 51. And look at what we're given. We're given a data table. We have January through December with a bunch of temperatures in it. So let's read the question. It says the table above gives the mean temperature for each month of the year. What is the range in mean temperature during the year? Well, let's remember what mean temperature means. That means for all the days in January, it was 28 degrees. For all the days in February, 29. I don't think I need to go on. Well, the range is really simple. To figure range, all you take is the highest temperature minus lowest temperature. And so when you look at this data table, you should be able to see that 78 was the highest temperature and that 28 was the lowest temperature. You subtract the two and you get 50 degrees, and that is answer A. Now, the next one gives you a range and wants you to find the median, the, the, the middle number. They throw a lot of distractors in there, so let me um, highlight the whole thing first, or, or underline it rather. For 51, it says, the range of hourly wages for 15 employees of a small company starts at 750 and ends at 2140. If only one worker receives the median of 890, how many workers receive a higher hourly rate, uh, wage. Well, I've taken the liberty of writing out 1 through 15 employees. I know that the person in the middle is number 8 because that's the middle number. Now let's count how many people are above that person. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I know that 7 people are above the median wage of 890. That's really as easy as I can make that one. So if you want some steps on there, if you're given a range and you're given 15 employees or 23 or whatever, write it out, find the middle number, and then just go up or down depending on what they happen to ask. Great. Let's do the last one at last.